Welcome to our lecture online. It is actually amazing how often a question will come up on the JE main test or a JE advanced test where they touch upon a topic or a subject that is very kind of off in left field, so to speak, a topic you typically don't see regularly in textbooks or may not even be covered in typical physics courses. So here we're dealing with what we call the, the uh, Zener diode and when do you see Zener diodes in a typical physics class? That's usually a topic that's not covered very often. And so you may not know what to do with it. And you just, at that point, you just kind of have to guess. Let's read the problem and see how we solve a, a question like this. In connection with the circuit drawn below, and they did provide the circuit, the value of current flowing through the two kilo ohm resistor is, and notice they have it in terms of 10 to the minus 4 amps. And your answer may not have 10 to the minus 4, so you'll have to convert it. So always be careful about that. So there it is. What's a Zener diode? A Zener diode, when you place it in a circuit, and notice that we have a, a uh, battery here, or power supply, a voltage supply, where the plus is on this side. And as you connect it to the circuit right here, notice that the Zener diode will have the same positive side as you have with where the voltage supply has its maximum or positive value. Notice then that we'll drive current through the Zener diode in this direction. So there will be some current, I sub d, in this direction. Notice that this Zener diode is rated at 5 volts, so that means that you have to have a 5 volt buildup over across this Zener diode for the current to flow. Since the Zener diode is connected in parallel to this resistor, that means this resistor will also have 5 volts across this resistor. And that's how you determine that by understanding how the Zener diode works. You build up a voltage. As soon as the voltage builds up to the, to the rated voltage of 5 volts for the Zener diode, that's when current will begin to flow. The remainder of the current will flow through this resistor right here. So that's I through the 2K ohm resistor. And so that is what we're looking for. We're finding, we're trying to find the current through that resistor. All right, so at this point, once you realize what the Zener diode does, you can simply use Ohm's law, where you have I is equal to V over R, and in this case, the voltage across this resistor, because of the Zener diode in parallel, will be equal to 5 volts, and the resistance is equal to 2,000 ohms. So that will be equal to 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3, and that would be amps, because we're looking for the current. Notice that we have 10 to the minus 4 and 10 to the minus 3, so this would be 25 times 10 to the minus 4 amps, and so what we're looking for is the number is 25, and that is the correct value indeed. So notice that, again, it requires the knowledge and the understanding of what the Zener diode does. And if you don't, you just really have to guess, because in this case, you, you don't get deducted for guessing. But again, the, since it's rated at 5 volts, you can then say, well, this will then uh, build up to 5 volts. Current will begin to flow. That means you have 5 volts across here, Ohm's law, V over R, and there's the answer. It's simple once you understand the concept of a Zener diode, and that is how it's done.